my dear children today is the 29th sunday in ordinary time today's gospel speaks about service when i was going through the gospel and i when i was preparing this short reflection of mine i came across a beautiful quotation by rabindranath tagore and he says this i slept and dreamed that life was nothing but joy i awoke and saw that life was service i served and i understood that service was joy and in today's gospel we find the two brothers james and john they approach jesus and they say master we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you and then jesus asked them what is that you want me to do for you then they say command us to sit one at your right and another at your left you see these two brothers the idea that they had about jesus's kingdom his ministry was earthly they thought that jesus has come in this world to set up an earthly kingdom and that was their that was in their mind but we we see that was not the idea about jesus's kingdom the whole core message or the core value of his ministry was of service and then he tells them whoever would be great among you must be a servant and whoever would be the first among you must be slave of all for the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many my dear children jesus himself jesus himself showed this through his own example at the last supper he washed the feet of his disciples and told his disciples the apostles to imitate his actions to emulate him so today as we are reflecting on this noble value of service we know that christians are identified with this value of service but today i find among children especially our youngsters and more so the catechism children or the school going children the value of service is slowly diminishing everything they want is only for themselves and remember children man's greatness doesn't contain in having more things having the latest mobile having the latest gadgets or other things but man's greatness lies in how much he how much out he goes in serving others in giving his time for others and we know recently we had the example of ratan tata who was instrumental in giving almost 66% of his uh i would say the income or the profits for the down trodden for the poor for the needy so here are some things in mind for us to keep in mind how to about the idea of the value of service we know our service it is it involves the use of head the heart and the hand for the welfare of others irrespective of caste status or creed when we serve it contributes to the works of development especially through our physical labor service explores the potentials that lie dormant in persons to education and it is regarding the needs of others where i put my needs behind and always look for the needs of others first and also it offers ample opportunities for to develop one's character and personality we know that people usually appreciate or they are drawn towards the one who really make time for others who really serve others and not the one who go on accumulating wealth for themselves so here are some tips for us to develop this value of service in our life to acquire this value of service the first 
let us try to volunteer to help others. There are so many cases, I would say, especially you see so much of litter around our road, our own houses, our own school. How many of us we take, really make efforts and we take time off and we say, okay, I will try to clean this area. No, if only if we are, I would say marked or if it's only a school job, we will do it. So let us try to volunteer. The first thing we can do it. The second is uh, sacrificing our personal needs and comforts to the needs of others, to help others. The third, to be easily available to others. Now very soon we'll be entering our Diwali vacation. Instead of being of service to others, instead of doing something good, Sometimes I find most of the children, they are inside with their mobiles or they are hardly bothered what is going on outside. So I would say children, make time, make time for others, especially to the, there are so many old people now nowadays, spend some time with them. Their children maybe are abroad and there's no one to look after them, go and spend some time. And the third is, I would say, helping the poor and the needy. The poor are always around us. Let us try to do our bit for this poor and the needy and inculcate a spirit of service within us.